This is the Cinepier CX100 COB light by Gion. It's a bicolor light with a battery attached. It comes in a box with the manual, the reflector and the USB cable. Is it a light for everyone? You'll tell me at the end of the video. Is it a light you can use in any shooting? Let's discover it together. But I'm 100% sure you'll be surprised by this tiny thing. Now, although I've only had this compact light for a few days, I've been testing features and performance. Hence, I wanted to share what I believe to be the advantages and disadvantages I've discovered to help you make better decisions. Just to be transparent, I want to let you know that ji is sponsoring this video. This means they are paying me for this video, but have no control over my content. I am free to express my honest opinion, whether positive or negative. The company will only see the content when you do, and they won't be able to influence it in any way. I'm Ruben, and I love music, cameras, and everything related to filmmaking and doing things that made me happy. <laughs> Okay, one of the first things that caught my attention is that this little light that literally fits in your pocket, it's a 100 watt light with an illuminance of 3,881 lux without a reflector at one meter and 21,100 lux with a reflector. A few years back, lights with 100 watts were big boys. <laughs> Instead, look at this thing. So in the box we get the warranty card and the manual. The CX100 watt light. The reflector with this cool silicon light diffuser and the USB cable. Now, unlike the X100, the battery here is attached to the body of the light. What do you think? Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it depends on your habits, but from my point of view, this is something less to forget when you're doing a shooting. The battery fully charged will last you for half an hour. Of course, the light doesn't have a display, it just has this little meter, these little lights that will tell you about the remaining charge and assist you when you turn the light on. More about that in a second. However, keep in mind that this is a very simple light to use, very user-friendly with no apps or any confusion and very straightforward. Hey, I have little lights from good companies, uh, good lights, don't, don't, don't take me wrong, that I haven't understood yet the, the, the apps and buttons and all the stuff. The material seems plastic, so don't drop it. In the bottom, we find two a quarter inch holes to place it on a tripod. This is a good thing. The product comes with a small reflector and a short USB cable. You can also buy a good range of accessories and modifiers such as a traditional reflector, a traditional lantern, a traditional 60D softbox dome, a mini quick softbox, etc. at an extra cost. This one comes with this cute reflector and a silicon light diffuser, which works surprisingly well. Let's check this here now. All right, let's turn it on. One, two, three, four. All right, uh, this is, let me put it at, uh, all right, this would be like 20%. 20% and this would be like 65 Kelvin and you can see that it's a very nice soft yeah look at this look at this and this is only a 20% <laughs> okay let me turn off hold on a second let me turn off this behind me all right and I can put it here and it will be perfect yeah. And guys, this is really, if I put it 100%, 
it would be like too much so you can you can even use it outside yeah absolutely now changing let me lower the intensity a little bit yeah this is what well, 20 percent let me put it 40 percent uh, 40 percent changing the color temperature there you go very warm and very cold all the way and all the way here all the way and all the way so we have the light the cx 100 by june and we're gonna try it in two kind of situations we have the theater which is very dark and uh and we're gonna try with the um, cold light and warm light and we have here outside like an interview where we use the light that we have here set up at 100 percent Definitely this is a light you can take with you anywhere and even put in tiny spaces. I was surprised because apart from using it for practical purpose or to illuminate small spaces in the background, etc., because of its size and power, you can use it for outdoor photography, portrait photography, wedding shoots, interviews or commercial advertising. Now, unlike others, this light has a weird on and off mechanism switch that uh, how can I put it? Uh, could be f confusing, frustrating, or for some easy to digest. I st still, Ji Yun says they built these mechanisms to avoid accidents that may happen when you transport this light. So to prevent your light from turning on if it accidentally touches something, in order to turn it on, you must press this red button for one second, see the lights, and then push it again for two seconds and you should see all the lights turning on and the light should turn on let me see if i got it uh so one and then one two three four pump i got it okay does it make any sense to you uh, well, some people are frustrated about this system and to be honest with you, I, I was one of them. I think this could be, I think this should, should have been a button inside or lower than the surface of the body of the light, but this is just my opinion. Anyway, I think I'm getting it now. Yeah, I got it. I got it three times in a row. All right. On the side of the light, we find these knobs one for the color temperature and the other light intensity. Now they feel fragile. The light intensity values are 20%, 40%, 60%, 80% and 100%. You can't set the light at 1% or 5%. It will go directly to, I think, 10 or 15%, so you know. On the other hand, the other knob is for color temperature. It goes from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. Now the color temperature versus the written values seems to be very accurate. However, because the knob doesn't offer lots of resistance to the touch, I wouldn't use it if I'm working in a studio using different lights that I have to calibrate exactly at the same color temperature. Of course, I'm talking about a professional lighting environment, while this light would be more like for a run and gun kind of situation. I feel, however, the necessity to point out what I consider to be all the details, whether positive or not. Now, for all the other scenarios, this functions very well. Actually, if you have a spectrometer, you can see for yourself the accuracy of the color temperature versus the written values on the knob. It's just a matter of maybe not having a click on the button. That would have helped a lot. Now, how do you charge this light? Well, you have two options. You can use a 24 volt DC adapter 
and a USB Type-C port with a PD charger or a power bank for fast charging. As I said, the fully charged battery will last you for 30 minutes, but if you have the light connected to these two options, you can work with the light while charging it. So this is very convenient. Mm, I almost forgot. See this big fan here? Now this little super compact light has an intelligent cooling system called DynaVort cooling system. It consists of gyroscope modeling heat sinks and FOC fan to prevent overheating. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> well, I was very pleased with the results this light gave me using my two cameras. Don't forget to get the discount while well, still available, all the info in the description. And, uh, and thank you for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace and love.